Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third one. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third one. In our today's video, we will talk about how to calculate for the mean deviation of a given and group data. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we are given here, or the topic here, and focus that is all about the mean deviation. And we are given the problem, find the mean deviation of the following and group frequency distributions. We have your example number one. And later on, I'll be giving you another example for you to practice more about the mean deviation of ungrouped data. So the given data set here is 10, 12, 12, and 14. Now, to calculate for the mean deviation, we need to use the formula MD, or the mean deviation is equal to the summation of the absolute value of x minus x bar over n. So your x here, this x variable represents the scores in your frequency distribution, while your x bar represents for the mean of the given data set, and n is the number of scores or elements within the given data set. Now, first thing you need to do here, guys, is to create a two-column table. So the like, given two-column table. Now, yung first column natin, that is for the x variables or the scores. And for the second column, we will be using, or this column is for the summation of x minus x bar. Now, copy your given data set. We have 10, 12, 12, and 14. Wherein, after doing that, to complete the second column, we need to find first the mean of this given data set. So for the mean, the formula is simply the summation of x over n. Wherein, we need to add these numbers. So your x bar is equal to 10 plus 12 plus 12 plus 14 over the number of scores, which is 1, 2, 3, and 4. That is over n, over 4. And adding these numbers, that will give us 48 over 4. And simplifying 48 divided by 4, that is equal to 12. Therefore, the mean is equal to 12. And let's complete this table, or this column of the table. You have x minus x bar. So you have here 10 minus 12. Again, 10 minus 12, that is equal to negative 2. But... As you can see, we have here the absolute value, and the absolute value of negative 2 is 2. Again, this the absolute value. Yeah, parang hindi kayo ito. Next is the absolute value of your x, which is 12, minus 12, and that will give us the answer of 0. Same with this one. This is the absolute value of 12, minus 12, so this is equal to 0. And for the last observation, which is 14, so this is absolute value of 14 minus 12. Again, the 12 here is your mean. Eh? So this is equal to 2 because the absolute value of 2 is 2. So since we already have this column, we need to find the summation of the absolute value of x minus x bar. But this one is not difficult because all we need to do is to add these numbers. 2 plus 0 plus 0 plus 2 is equal to 4. Meaning, the absolute value, uh, sorry, the summation of the absolute value of x minus x bar is simply 4. And using this formula, you have md, our mean deviation is equal to the value of it, which is 4. Okay, 4. Tama, di ba 4 naman talaga? Okay, 4 over the value of n, which is 4. And simply, the mean deviation of the given data set is equal to 1. That's it for the first example. Now let us solve the second problem we have, which is 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. So we are given this data set, and again, we are asked to find the mean deviation. First thing you need to do is to create a two-column table. Draw a two-column table wherein yung first column ng ating table is for the scores. Okay? This is your x. And second column is for the absolute value of x minus 
x bar. So copy your elements. You have 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. And to complete this part of the table, you need to calculate for the x bar or your mean. And the formula again is the summation of x over n. We need to add these numbers. You have x bar is equal to 12 plus 13 plus 14 plus 15 plus 16 plus 17 and plus 18 over the number of elements, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 divided by 7. And another piece of advice, guys, when you're doing or solving for a statistics problem starting from mean up to standard deviation, I, will re I would recommend na gumamit kayo ng calculator. So in our case, I'll be using my calculator wherein we will add 12 plus 13 plus 14 plus 15 plus 16 plus 17 plus 18 and that will give us the sum of 105. Okay, x bar is equal to 105 divided by 7. And you will divide it by 7 and it will give you the answer of 15. Okay, that is equal to 15. This is your mean. And using the value of your mean, we can complete this second column. Wherein the formula is simply the absolute value of 12 minus 15. Again, your x is 12 and your mean is equal to 15. That is absolute value of 12 minus 15. And the answer there is the absolute value of negative 3. And the absolute value of negative 3 is 3. For the second part, the absolute value of 13 minus 15, that is negative 2, but absolute value, that is 2. And for this one, you have the absolute value of 14 minus 15. You have 14 minus 15 is negative 1. The absolute value of negative 1 is 1. And for this, the absolute value of 15 minus 15, definitely that is 0. Okay? This is 0. And for the next part, you have the absolute value of 16 minus 15, that is equal to 1. And for this, the absolute value of 17 minus 15, the answer is 2. And the absolute value of 18 minus 15, that is equal to 3. And lastly, we need to calculate for the summation of x minus x bar, wherein we need to add these numbers, 3 plus 2, which is 5 plus 1, 6, plus 1 plus 2 plus 3, that is equal to 12. Okay? Again, the answer is 12. So, if we have this value, we can use this formula, which is median deviation is equal to 12. Okay? Why 12, sir? Because the summation of x, the summation of the absolute value of x minus x bar is equal to 12 over the number of elements, which is 7. Now, calculating this one, use your calculator, 12 divided by 7, and that will give you the answer of 1.71428571429, where in kunin lang natin yung decimal places, meaning your median deviation is simply 1.71. This is the answer for item number two. So as you can see, uh, as long as you're following the right direction on how to calculate the mean deviation, hindi hindi ka mawawala. So I hope na natuto ka sa ating video today about calculating the mean deviation of ungrouped data. So stay tuned sa mga videos natin because we will upload more videos with regards to statistics. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!